Greetings my friends, time to return to farming simulator on the construction economy production map where as we did in the previous episode we will continue to make some more steel. The previous episode was more like a test for making steel. Uh, I found out what are the costs, what are uh, the steps involved into making steel. And as I was saying, I discovered that unfortunately this factory will spawn just two steel pellets at, the, at, at a time. That's why I added six more spawning points. Now eight pellets will spawn in, uh, in total. So I guess in this episode we will make uh, real money. As you can see, now I'm carrying... Uh, I can't say exactly how many pellets, but they're definitely... I don't know, 8 or 10. Okay, and this time we definitely should be making more money as in the previous previous time. I also increased a little bit. Mm, I think I've doubled the capacity of each pallet. And I also increased a little bit the selling speed of the, of the pallet. So... Um, I'm not, uh, you know, cheating the game in making it, uh, in, you know, more, more easier in the sense that I get more money for the same amount of, uh, of work. Uh, no, it's just um, basically uh, I'm compressing the pellets and uh, yeah, spending more of them at, at a time. It's uh, it's a lot easier and. Uh, because yeah, after all, because uh, if not, you'll have to basically sit all the day long waiting for two pellets at a time and moving them and then wait for the next two and then move them again and so on and so forth. So yeah, I made myself uh, the life a little bit easier. You can do the same if you like. Now back for uh, mining uh, dirt to continue the steel making process. Uh, this episode, as you can see, is a little bit shorter, but it, it packs the same amount of content. It's just uh, this, the replay speed is uh, faster. I decided uh, from now on to keep my episodes a little bit shorter. Now it's interesting what will happen when I'll mine all this dirt from here. Will it respawn or will I be forced to go to other mine or to other level of the mine? And what will happen if I'll mine all of it on the map? Does it mean that I will basically run out of work on the map? In terms of um, return per amount of work done, steel out steel turn out to be a lot more lucrative than asphalt. Asphalt, uh, it's only worth uh, testing, you know, but not for real money making. Still, it's a lot more profitable. Yeah, and I still haven't touched uh, the other uh, products from separation of dirt. Uh, the sand, the gravel and tailings. Those also can be either sold or used for other uh, processes. So three loads will suffice for now. We have like almost a hundred thousand liters uh, of uh, iron ore which we now can process into steel bars A 
I'll dump the remaining of uh, fuel from my first load of fuel. As you can see, 8 spawning places for pellets. But for some reason, <laughs> only 7 of them will spawn. The 8 doesn't want to spawn. Maybe my math was a little bit wrong when I edited the files. But still, uh, 7 is uh, definitely better than 2. So now we can go and sell our second batch of steel. Yeah, now this is some real money, so I had enough to buy my first dump truck. Now we will finally have some proper mining equipment, outside the loader of course. This one has a capacity of uh, 50 cubic meters, which is about 25% more than, uh, than my uh, trailer that I was using to this moment. Okay, so we can go back into action right away by mining some more dirt. Now it will take two loads and a half to fill up uh, this dump truck. And it's able to climb this uh, this uh, ramp uh, a lot faster than my tractor did, which is great. Which means faster mining. And this will be the fourth and the last load. But this load we should have like 200,000 liters of uh, dirt. But I should probably use this uh, mining terms like in cubic meters. So we will have 200 cubic meters of dirt.
and it looks like we will run out of coal so the next thing to bring to the smelter will be some more coal and it looks like i decided to go first with the limestone and then with the coal but i borrowed a little bit more money to have enough to rebuy my jcb loader which it turned out to be a mistake to sell it in the first place but oh well you live to learn It's just that the, the mining or loading with this loader is different than with the cat one. Yeah, and I guess it will take us like eight loads and a little bit, almost nine loads to fill up this uh, trailer. Now you understand why I like to reproduce my videos at a faster speed, because if not it wouldn't take a lot of time to fill up this uh, dump truck. One other advantage of this dump truck is that it is more than twice, well it's about uh, twice as fast as my tractor with trailer. Which also speeds up the advancement in the game. And I still have troubles to unload the limestone and the coal. This time we will definitely go for coal, because it really was the ingredient with the least amount uh, in, in stock. Now let's see if it's um, actually possible to load uh, the dump truck from here and it looks like it's not. I'll have to find another solution. Yeah, so as you can see I have to keep my truck on the coal to be able to load it. Now I have a full load of coal, let's bring it to the smelter. Or a steel foundry, as they're called.
Okay, so now I can fast forward the time again, right up, right to the point where I run out of iron. But I think I have some more. Yeah, I have a lot of it, actually. Because I've mined, uh, if you remember, four loads of dirt. Now the next thing that we're running out is uh, actually fuel. So I have to first bring my tractor with the trailer and then take the fuel trailer and go buy me some fuel. And by buy I mean getting it for free which I still don't understand why is that on this map. Yes, it would have been harder, a lot harder to make, to actually make your fuel um, from canola or from uh, soybeans, but it probably would have been uh, more fun. So yeah, it looks like the steel could be that that process, that uh, part of the gameplay on this map that can pay for anything, because it, uh, it's quite lucrative and it's not just one single step, it's uh, multiple steps and multiple ingredients and you have like liquid transportation, you have bulk transportation, you have pallet transportation, so so yeah, you have where to, to grow up, you know, you can expand, which I already basically did, uh, by install, installing more uh, spawning points for pallets, and then if I'm gonna use my tier system, uh, I'll be able to do stuff even faster than that. Okay, so shortly I'll sell this steel and with that I'll conclude this uh, episode. Thank you all for watching. Again, if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Please do subscribe if you're new here. I wish you all a great day and I hope to see you next time for Farming Simulator or maybe some other game. Bye bye!